welcome in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to transform this ugly flow plan into a cool 2d rendered flow plan in revit the first and the easiest method is to take this flow plan here change its visual styles add some shadows and then export it as a jpeg or a png okay let's now go to the visual style here and change some options here let's go and click on the visual styles and then i will go to maybe shaded okay you can see now some surfaces here are shaded differently this was done by um uh, splitting and painting the surfaces and I have already made a complete tutorial about how to split and paint the surfaces if you want to have a look on that tutorial the link is in the description below but as you can see here uh, we do not we cannot really differentiate about this material they do not really look uh, as realistic as possible now let's go on and i'm going to change it from shady to realistic now you can see that it starts to look a little bit realistic here and it's much more cool and now we can export this one but before we export this one i'm going to go to visual style click and go to graphics displays and go to lighting and see what we can twist in here i can go on and increase or decrease the sun let me just click the sun and see what happens you can see it doesn't really look nice let me go all the way to maybe 90 hit apply and you can see it starts to really look a little bit good and now what are we going to do we do not really have shadows and we keep the ambient the ambient light let me maybe put 30 and see what happens apply nothing much is changing here i'm going to bring it back to 15 and i will hit apply and hit ok interesting now i'm going to go to file and then I go to export i will look for images and animation then go to the images and change some resolution here i always put one 500 as uh pixels and then i leave everything as it is now i will go and choose the location i'm going to choose maybe the desktop go to desktop and i'm going to name it uh, 2d flow plan and hit ok and finally hit ok and here we go we have our we have created our rendered flow plan now let's look on the more advanced option i'm going to go to the 3d i have created a rendered the 3d here i'm going to go to the 3d and you can see that we have this uh, section box here and we are going to use this section box to cut uh, our 3d uh, model into a kind of uh, 2d flow plan uh, you are going to go to this allows here and bring it down to the on the level of the windows and then uh, you can now start to see that we are having a good let me cut it on the side of uh, the window yes i make sure i cut the windows through the windows and uh, what i will do i will go to the top view here 
and now we have this uh, cool looking 3d floor plan uh, the way I did this one is um, to activate the this section box you can go to the 3d and scroll a little bit down and you will see this section box here you can either check it or uncheck it you see that uh, if I uncheck it now the model uh, is no longer cut but if I check it again the the the, the section box will be displayed and i will be able to drag it down i can either drag it down in the 3d or i can go maybe to an elevation and or a section and cut through uh, that i can use the section box here to cut through maybe the window and now go back to the rendered flow plan here go to to the top here and this is how you actually cut this flow plan you can go to the to club view and crop region and adjust this based on what you want to display in here like this and then we are actually good to go now what i'm going to do first is to go on and activate the shadows i'm going to activate sh shadows here and yeah they are looking really nice if you want to make some changes on the shadows you can go on the sun settings here and it will ask me to save and start to look on different options here uh, you can maybe uh, use still and hit apply you can see that we have very long shadows which i do not really want for now I can maybe go to summer solistis hit apply and you can see these shadows are kind of good here but i think the multi day and in session multi day is much more cool and i will leave it like that all right now let's go on and uh, change the visual style to something like uh, shaded or it doesn't really look nice now and I will go to maybe consistent colors I think this looks uh, good for now even though we don't really have um, the real textures uh, highlighted I'm going to go to realistic and see what happens I'm going to wait a little bit all right this is nice right now we can now go on on the lighting let me go to visual display graphic displays option and see uh, on what we can do we can maybe twist here i'm going to use the show ambient shadows here and hit apply you can see what is changing here you see this back background is changing to something really nice and go to lighting and see what we can do let me go to 100 hit okay and this looks a little bit nice now i'm going to hit okay and i'm really satisfied about this one and after that i'm going to quickly go to the render option i'm going to go to view and then render here i will choose uh i will not choose high i'm going to choose medium and on the resolution i'm going to use you can either use screen or printer and then you choose a bigger resolution here 
300 dpi's are always the best you can see we have a very nice uh, a decent image here and you leave everything else as it is and now you hit render and here we go this is our rendered flow plan which looks nice here as you can see it you can go some extra steps to kind of uh, adjust the exposure and most of the time I leave it as default uh, the exposure value is uh, always 14 and here maybe you can put like 50 if you want let me put 50 0. 5 and see what is going to happen let me hit apply and i think they are quite same here and i can maybe reset to the original to keep it uh, with the the original settings now i will click ok and what i will do i will go here to export and then i'm going to go to desktop again i'm now going to call it uh, 3d render the flow plan jpeg and i'm going to hit save and uh, because i saved it before they say i have to replace it yes i'm going to replace it okay that's it